Hello, welcome to Fire Power Threat Defense training video series. I am Nanda. In this video, we are going to look at how to migrate AAC policy to Fire Power Threat Defense. With uh, FTD 6.2.2, you can migrate AAC policy from 8.4 onwards. The policy which can be migrated to Fire Power Threat Defense are ACLs that are associated with interface group or the global, uh, glo global rule and all the NAT policies. Along with this, all the network object and object group and service object and object group which are associated with ACLs or NAT will be migrated to Fire Power Threat Defense. The unsupported policies within ACs are um, ACEs which has a time range FQDN or a local username uh, local group or users and uh, SGT nested object group and ACLs which are not part of interface or global rules will not be migrated to FMC. When you migrate um, ACLs uh, to a firepower threat defense the AC ACLs has uh, two simple uh, actions one is permit and then other one is deny. If you migrate ACL, po ACL policies to FMC you can either migrate to, to pre-filter policy or access control policy. If you choose as a pre-filter policy then you have uh, two options. ACEs which has uh, deny as a rule will be migrated to block. All the AC which has uh, AC permit which has uh, two options. Either those permit ACLs um, can be either migrated as fast path or, or the pre-filter analyze. Similarly, if the ACLs uh, you want to migrate as an access control policy, uh, when you migrate as an access control policy, the ACLs which has a uh, deny rule will be migrated as block. The ACs which has permit as a um, action can be either migrated as trust or allow. In order to migrate AC to FTD, I need these components, uh, your FMC, which is your production FMC, which is managing your five power thread defense. And you need one more virtual FMC, which can be installed on your either VMware or a KVM. Um, on this FMC, we are going to uh, give you commands, which is going to make this FMC as a migration migrating tool. Uh, once you have this to uh, FMC tool ready, then you can import AC configuration. Either it can be in a dot text file or dot CFG file. Once you import this, this migrating FMC is going to give you a dot SFO file, which this with with this file you are going to import this to your production FMC, which is going to get get those uh, policy converted to uh, Firepower Management Center policy, which you can use it on your firepower thread defense so now i'm now i'm logging into the virtual fmc which is going to uh, which i'm going to convert to a migrating tool i've logged in so there are two commands that i have to um, give uh, in order to convert this as a migrating tool before that uh, let's go to that same fmc and see from the browser uh, it looks a typical normal fmc but let's see after these two commands um, what uh, what what it gets changed so these are the two commands that we have to issue sudo um, su to uh, elevate you as a root user and then um, give the script enable migra migration tool dot pl uh, which is going to make this um, fmc as a migrating tool after completing this uh, execution of the script you can go back to the browser and then do a refresh um, so after refresh it is going to show you uh, saying that this tool has been uh, has been enabled as a migrating tool which can be uh, used to convert the ASA policy note this tool uh, this fmc can no more uh, be used to manage your firepower or uh, firepower thread defense so this is the ASA configuration that i'm going to um, use it to migrate the ACL and NAT policy to FMC. So as you could see that we have uh, lots of policy uh, policies here, but 
the policies that are going to migrate are only the objects acls and then nat rules so even the acl this particular acl which is not associated with any of the uh, interface or global rule will not be migrated the acls which are associated with access group only will be migrated um, let's go and see uh, what are the steps required to migrate so um, on this fmc which has been uh, converted as a migration tool i have to go to system tool and then import and export click upload package and choose the file acf file that you want to migrate um, so i've cho chosen the file uh, ac.config.txt and then click upload now you have uh, two options either it can be migrated as a pre-filter policy or um, or access control policy as we spoke during the presentation as you could uh, um, refer back the slide uh, the ac policy can be either migrated as a pre-filter policy or access control policy so that's what you can choose either one pre-filter or access control if you choose pre-filter then you have um, all the acls which are marked as deny will be uh, migrated as a block all the acls which has permit can be migrated either as fast path or analyze um, the acls which has a permit uh, as an action on the ac uh, acl can be either migrated as fast path or analyze the way you choose here is going to uh, convert the policy similarly if you choose the uh, ac acls to be uh, migrated to access control policy then you have either option trust or allow um, all the acls which has an action permit can be either uh, translated as trust or allow on access control policy so for now let me choose as a pre-filter policy and then um, mark the action as uh, fast path and then click uh, ok so now it gives you an information that um, ASA migration is not under progress and then you can check the status um, on the taskbar so click this task, um, status button and then check the taskbar and you can see that migration is under progress so this one says that um, yes is, is successfully uh, migrated and then uh, it is uh, currently under pro now we have a uh, um, sfo file that is generated all i can do is uh, click this and then download the file to my uh, pc and then upload this file back to the fmc so now that i have um, i have um, the file is exported i can go to my production fmc uh, this is my production fmc i can go to system to same import export click upload and select the dot sfo file that i want to um, import so um, it says that uh, it has found access uh, acl policy and then NAT policy. Um, let's import this. So now, um, now that the policy is getting imported, uh, it is saying that I need to map uh, the ASA interfaces to uh, the FMC. So um, I can either so these uh, it has found the um, interfaces on the ac configuration like outside bmz inside and outside i can use the existing asa interfa um, fmc interfaces gr interface group to map it or create a new one so i'm going to reuse the existing one um, so I'm, I'm manually mapping and then uh, say import So it says a successfully imported let's go and verify the policy first let's go and verify the access control policy since we said that to import it as a pre-filter policy uh, it would have created a pre-filter policy uh, you can see that um, it has created an access control policy but um, it has uh, it would have created a pre-filter policy which has all the acls that we have imported 
so as you can see that it has created a pre-filter policy and then map the name is here let's go and verify pre-filter policy so then um, the imported ACLs are um, created under this pre-filter policy so we have about five ACLs um, with the first for, for, as a fast path and then la last rule as a block let's go to the uh, so here we have uh, five ACLs and then the first four are permit as we uh, set the preference the permit has been uh, uh, marked as fast path and then the deny rule has been marked as block and uh, similarly we can go and verify the NAT policy uh, so again it has created a NAT policy um, so here we have seven NAT policies um, as you could see here two um, before NAT and then uh, that is two before uh, manual NAT and uh, three auto NAT and two um, af manual after NAT so that again has been populated here um, all we have to do is click assign policy and then assign to uh, your desire um, 543 defense same thing on access control policy you can assign this access control policy to your desired um, pipe or thread defense. And then save and then deploy the policy to the uh, device. Similarly, you can experiment with other policies like um, importing the AS ACL as access control policy and then um, the permit rule as either trust or allow. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you like it. See you soon in the next video. Until then, please subscribe to the video channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.